<laughs> Something's moving. Mm. Yeah. Something's <laughs> happening. Something's changing. Church, it's us to need to get ready. Get into the word of God. If God says he will provide, God will provide. If God says my grace is sufficient, you need only the grace of God. That is sufficient. <laughs> this verse is talking about wealth, man. God's plan for every good man to leave an inheritance for his children's children. Oh, Pastor Princess, I'm working on that, baby. <laughs> My children started a lot in the ministry when we started our ministry. I understand what you say. For one, there was a, a, many years ago, for one year, I just stepped out of the ministry. I didn't, it wasn't backstabbing or something. A man done my whole family harm. Terribly wrong. Lost everything, every, every, everything, every, everything, and I decided I'm going to kill you because I know how to do. I was trained to do it. <laughs> I can't let up. So I had the wrong, the wrong attitude, and I realized I cannot minister with the wrong spirit because spirit. Can be transferred. Yeah. Mm. You never mm. let the person that is in lack pray for you. Mm. Yeah. You never allow a critic person that criticizes you pray for you. Yeah. Watch out who lays hands on you. Mm. Yeah. I'm, I'm serious, guys. Mm. I sought for you to be in this beginning. Mostly women do it. And then their husbands are not even saved. The year of it, then if your man can't fray for you, you can't even have a fray for you. The Bible says, if the Son has set you free, you free indeed. No human being can set you free except Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Mensen haak op rond voor beraden. Dan krijg je bedraden en dan. Confused, confused. And you don't know what, what happened. Watch out. Get to the word of God. This wealth is to come in from the sinner who God is allowing to heap it up, to stack up the billions and trillions of wealth. This is good. Even the wealth that is hidden, the offshore wealth. It's scripture. Isaiah 45 verse 3 says, Isaiah 45 verse 3, and I will give thee the treasures of darkness, the hidden riches of secret places, that thou may know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. God knows where every yen is. God knows where every pound is. God knows where every dollar is. God knows where every land is for you and me. You don't worry about where it's going to come from. You come in line with the word of God. Sometimes I miss it, man. Wow, that's my God. That's the Jesus I minister. That's the one who saved me. When people wrote me off, he never died. Yes. There's plenty of wealth in the world. 
It's just in the wrong hands. But it's changing. Je zet een man en vrouw over je. Nee, nee, ik heb verkeerd gezegd. Je zet iemand hier. Het kan of een man of een vrouw is of een man en vrouw zijn. Je zet iemand hier. En dat is voor bitteren tussen je en je kinders. En dat je je kinders kan helpen. En dat het een belofte gaan maken. En dat is al een paar jaar dat het verbreekt. En je is anders dan verbitterd. Je zet iemand hier. Je zet iemand hier. as a blessing. Bless them. Release them. The reason they can't pay it back is because you keep them against them. They just want to fast the whole. And both of you are stuck. Do you understand what I'm saying? But you're missing the blessings of God. Proverbs 19 verse 17 said, He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord. And that which he hath given will he pay him again. He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord. If you borrow money from me, I lend you the money that I set the terms. You're going to pay me back so much. I want so much back every month. This period of time, this is the interest. If we lend it unto God, I say this word, remember me in my beloved Christ. Remind me of my promises. I remind you, Lord, I gave to those old people, I gave to those people, I gave to those people, I gave to those people. It's time now to give back to me. I want that money, Lord, because I want to use that for this, for this, for this, and this. Okay, nobody understands what I'm saying. 
He doesn't want us. Why can't we do it with him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Peter, because he's God. Right, you're right. Because I'm Isaac. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The only people that doesn't understand is fathers and mothers that haven't got a relationship with the children. Mm -hmm. The more I can give to my children, the more I feel blessed. Mm -hmm. I borrow many times, I borrow money to my children. And then the next day I find them and say, He didn't know if you me to put that in power, bless you. It's a blessing to be a blessing. I love giving. That's why I always have. I've not yet experienced the 30 and the 60 and the 100%. But I'm on my way to the 100% blessing. Amen. But I keep to see it that I've got enough seed in the ground. God never intended the government to care for the poor. Never. Give me one scripture for that. It's the work of the church. We blame the government. Stop blaming the government. It's not the government, it's a church. Because when we give to the poor, we lend to God. You see, my friend, because we don't have a relationship with God, that's why we're missing out on our blessings. The way we grew up with our fathers and our mothers are blocking us to have a blessing from God. My mother and father made mistakes, a lot of mistakes. When I became a father, I realized, my goodness, I make a lot of mistakes. My son now realized, goodness, he's making a lot of mistakes. So stop running around with the mistakes your father and mother did. You are losing out on the blessings of God. Get rid of that baggage, man. My ex-husband. My flip your ex-husband and stop trusting God. Stop running around with garbage and a lot of baggage. You missing God's blessing. Today you say, God, I release everybody. I set them free. I, 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 I speak them. I get space, son of all. I set you free. Then you'll see how God starts providing you. Exodus chapter 15 verse 2. The Lord is my strength and my song. And he's become my salvation. He is my God and I will prepare him. I will prepare him and habitation. My father's God and I will exalt him. It's time for you and me to prepare him a habitation. Listen here. In the desert. They could only use the wealth to build him a tabernacle or a temple. It cost finances in the desert to erect a temple and build a tabernacle. Now the book of, of Acts God no longer lives in a temple built by hands. But do you not know that we are a temple of the Holy Spirit? So the same finances that went into the temple in the desert is the same finances that needs to come to the temple. Well, I released it in the spiritual realm. You take it or leave it. Now we are the temple of God. The church is the true temple of the living God. So the finances for the temple needs to come in. God says, and the word says, I will prepare him and habitation. 
It's not on top, it's inside. <laughs> so the wealth of the wicked is given to us. So we can be his temple. To bring in the greatest harvest ever experienced on the face of the earth. I'm prophesying right now. You will receive the greatest wealth transfer in the history of this earth as you've never seen before and experienced before. The biggest wealth transfer. Are you ready for it? Yes. You believe that? Yes. I believe it, guys. Yes. If you don't want it, I'll take yours as well. Okay. Because then I can bless other people. Ask the people. I love to give. I love to give. I don't tell them to whom I give everything, but I love to give. I love it. Up here. Man, it's good to give. I got what I thought it was you for. And I know God will provide. I'm going to bring people to the world this morning. Only people who want to be anointed to the world. But God showed me we're not going to stand in a. We're going to stand. I see people stand right through to there. Actually, you go. I see my spirit sheep are going to be whacked down. While I lay my hands with oil and releasing the wealth of the wicked in your life. Releasing and manifesting the wealth transfer, the greatest you've experienced in your life. Put it on that Just imagine somebody knocking at your door and say, listen, is this, give the address and go from Kohubu. Yeah, it's me. Bye-bye. <laughs> Has anyone experienced something like this already? I have. If you don't know, I have. That's why I can speak about it. A drunk man, the was down. A drunk man. He stopped his his his, his body three blocks away from us. He thought it was out of our, our house. <laughs> uh, you are new, you are not. And he walked to our garden gate. Did you do you know drunk people? When they stretch their nose, they start here. <laughs> I mean, I'll pray with a lamp as a long five and I'll be out of the game. Did you see? On his way, realized, oh, no, no, this is Peter's house. He knocks on the door. We trusted God for finances and I had to go to preach. I didn't know. And I was busy with a seminar. My name was at home. And he came and he said, My name. You're a Rosie Well. Turn around. Bye. I know if God says you will provide, you will provide. Yes. And he doesn't say what just that. They still don't. And he can't go to technical worry. But I just have to be a little bit of a car, a little bit of a car, a little bit of a car. Danny Buddha says, he 
He says one day he saw in the spirit realm this church guy having a sword fight with the devil. And another Christian guy came and he said, can I help you? He said, yes, please help me. And the two Christian guys sword fighting with the devil. And the one Christian guy said, what church do you belong to? <laughs> he said, looks up a story. And they left the devil and they start fighting each other. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the church is losing out big time. We're busy with the wrong things. But something is changing. God is raising up a generation of men and women. God is not going to give any more knowledge of the word. He's going to start giving revelation knowledge of the word. The devil has also have knowledge of the word, but the devil doesn't have revelation knowledge of the word. This what God is promising is not knowledge, it's revelation knowledge of the word of God. That's why some people will say, I can't yes, but I can't feel that, but it's going to work for me. If you believe it, it's going to work for you. If you're going to take it by faith, it's going to work for you. I say, if you're going to take it by faith, it's going to work for you. In the spiritual realm, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I release on the lives of this people the